The first time I visited the center and I got to meet some of my future teammates and future professors, it really felt like I wasn't just being welcomed to a community that I might get to be a part of, but that as soon as I got to campus, I was already being welcomed into that community and that I was a part of it just from the get-go. So my first time coming on campus was actually a funny story. I had a tour scheduled for 2 p.m. and it's in Eastern time and I'm from Nashville so I'm on Central time and I ended up being an hour late to my tour and on the way I was telling my mom I was like I can't go here. I'm not going here. I don't even want to go tour it. I'm already late to the tour. There's no way that that's going to be the school for me. I just we should just move on. I ended up going to the admissions and I did a tour that day at three o'clock when I got here and it ended up being where I ended up. And it's just, it's kind of funny. It came full circle. <laughs> I went into like Google, really like research. How does it look? And I seen all those videos that showed up about the college dorm, um, campus life. During my research, I found out like about um, the sill in front of Old Center and how like if you step on it, before you graduate, it is very bad luck. So I think that's the thing that like got me most excited about coming to Center. And <laughs> I mean, it is, what do you think about it? It's not that much, but it's when it's, I'm like, there might be a lot of like those little stories around Center, like my making my home. So I toured 16 colleges of all different sizes, uh, places, just all the different curriculums and everything. And Center had a very small, tight-knit community with connections with professors and that was the really the biggest thing for me was the relationship that you have with your professors and really getting that one-on-one -on -one learning time and small classes. I think the one thing at Center that made me realize it was going to be the place for me was the way I can pursue everything I pursued in high school um, whether that's just athletics, hobbies, or any kind of interest. Um, it always feels like there's a club or a group of people or some kind of place where you can go and pursue those things. When I got the news that I was coming to Center, they got me to a Zoom, and as soon as I got into the Zoom, they were like, welcome as a Posse Center. I was like, yay! I was so happy. Um, I was in my room, I went outside, um, told my mom. I submitted my early decision application standing on Center's campus. So I came for my overnight, and I uh, submitted it in the same place that I first walked onto campus and thought, I can't, like, when I got my acceptance letter, it was I was actually at work and I was making pizzas in the back and I saw the notification and I opened it and it was the little confetti thing and I was just like, oh my gosh, it happened. When I got the letter, it felt really, I just felt like I was at peace with that decision and that I was going to have a good home. Uh, it was obviously like super relieving uh, as you would expect a college acceptance to be, but also I think it immediately kind of fills you with this sense of uh, fulfillment and just excitement for what's to come. I think the thing about early decision for me is that I couldn't imagine myself anywhere as happy as I am here at Center. And if you're thinking about early decision or it's been on your mind, really think about why and the pros and cons of if you do apply early decision. And if the pros outweigh the cons in any way, then that means that it's probably the college you need to go to. Definitely remember that it's, it's your choice to make um, and to trust your gut and believe in yourself with whatever you decide to do. Taking that leap, I got to know about Center. I learned a lot. I learned from people here. I learned from the environment. And personally, I don't regret it. I'm like having fun out here. Um, take the leap. Don't be scared, do it.